Hi Langley Leopards, this is Mrs. Jones. Today's art lesson is going to be for third, fourth, and fifth graders. If you're younger and you want to try it, that's fine. This project is a little weird and it's a little complicated, so there's more steps than usual, but I hope you guys have fun. So today we're going to work on symmetry, so that's when something is the same on both sides. We're also going to talk about abstract art. And abstract art is when art does not have to look realistic, so can just be something weird and you can see something different than somebody else sees. So let's go ahead and get started. The first step is to take your paper and fold it in half the long ways. And some of us call that hot dog because it looks like a hot dog, okay? So then after you fold it in half, then you're going to open it back up. And on one half, it doesn't matter what half do you do, you are going to draw one line starting from the fold all the way and go to the other fold. You don't want your line to be the same. You want it to be a little different. You want some of your parts to be bigger, some of them to be skinnier, because the more different you make it, the cooler it's going to look, okay? So that is my one half. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half this way. And I don't know if you guys can, yeah, you can see it a little bit. See how you see through the paper or the, um, yeah, you see through the paper. So you're going to trace exactly what you see again. So you just have to look really carefully, go slow, and trace what you see. This project is really, really cool and fun if you follow the steps and you do it correctly. And if not, if you mess up the first time, that's okay. You can try again. All right, so now I'm going to open it back up. And now you can see it on both sides. Now I'm going to trace it again on this side over top. So you kind of trace twice. And that way you're going to get the same on both sides. Now we're not going to leave it like that when we're done because we know that if we would leave it plain, it would be boring. So we're not going to leave it plain. All right, so let's see what my little abstract looks like. Okay, so now I have a weird shape. Ooh, I think I'm going to do mine this way. So then what I want you to do is take your markers, crayons, whatever, and I want you to do designs on both sides. You know, I think I am going to start up here. And I'm going to do these two circles right here. Ooh, kind of reminds me of Target. I miss Target. Ooh, and I'm going to make them the same, so there we go. Okay, and then I think I'm going to do a zigzag here, so then I have to do the same. I'm going to do a zigzag here, and I think I'm going to double it up. Zigzag here, zigzag here. I'm going to do stripes. I did four on that side, so I need to do four on this side. Try to make them in the same direction. Maybe here I'm going to do a wavy line. So then I have to do the same wavy line over here. It's definitely starting to look like a creature. I love it. So all you're going to do is you're going to fill in that space with designs. The more complex, and we know that complex means complicated, more, not simple. So the more complex your designs are, the more interesting your artwork is going to be. So really try to make complex patterns. You guys are so smart, and you've been doing patterns all year. You've been doing patterns with me, some of you, since you were in kindergarten. So you really should have some complex. Add more to make them interesting. So here's what I've done so far. 
okay? And then here's one I did the other day. And what I love about abstract art is you can look at it from any way. So if you look at it here, I think it looks like an alien with bug eyes popping out. But if you look at it here, I think it looks like a weird frog. Okay, so I hope you guys have fun making your abstract, symmetrical creature, bug, whatever it turns out to be. Have fun. I missed you guys so much. I love you. Bye.